Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be discussing about minerals and ores. So let's first start with what do we mean by minerals and ores friends. Now friends, the earth's lithosphere is generally made up of land and the earth's crust, right? Now this earth's crust is an abundant source of natural resources. So the resources that are obtained from the earth's crust are minerals, ores as well as mineral oil. And also you obtain certain fuels, rocks and water from the earth's crust. Now friends, minerals are generally found in the form of rocks that are present on the earth. And so these minerals can be easily obtained by mining. But what about ores? What are ores? Now friends, if I talk about metals, metals exist in nature in the free state as well as in the combined state. That is metals which are less reactive generally occur in the free state. Whereas metals which are highly reactive, they occur in the combined state. Now, compounds of metals which are generally accompanied with certain impurities are called as minerals, right? And minerals which contain high percentage of the desired metal is called as ore. So, in other words, we can say that ores are those minerals from which the metal can be separated economically as these ores contain high percentage of the metal. Remember this friends, ores are the one which contain high percentage of the metal and so you can easily separate the metal from it, right? Now friends, as we said, ores are the compounds which are made up of metals, right? Ores are generally compounds of metals which are accompanied with certain impurities. These impurities may be of sand or soil and these impurities are called as gang. Now friends, how are these minerals actually formed? Now, minerals are formed when magma in the earth's crust and lava which is released during volcanic eruptions cools down. So, when magma and lava, they cool, on cooling it results in the formation of crystals and these crystals are nothing but minerals. For example, magnetite and mica. These are the minerals which are formed by the cooling of magma and lava. Now friends, minerals are also formed by the process of evaporation. What is evaporation? Evaporation is the process wherein the liquid gets vaporized, right? And there are some crystals, solid crystals which are left behind, right? So minerals are formed by the process of evaporation also, wherein solid crystals are left behind. For example, halite and gypsum are formed by the process of evaporation. Minerals are also formed due to variations in temperature and pressure. For example, diamond and graphite. Diamond and graphite are allotropes of carbon, right? But diamond and graphite are formed at different temperature and pressure, which means that minerals under different temperature and pressure gets transformed from one form into another, right? When diamond is subjected to some conditions of temperature and pressure, it gets converted into graphite, right? So, simply by changing the temperature and pressure, minerals get transformed from one form to another, right? Minerals are also formed by certain living organisms, right? That is, living organisms generally produce inorganic minerals to protect themselves. For example, shells and conches are examples of inorganic minerals, right? Which actually are produced by living organisms. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.